All right, folks, Pie Guy here. I'm going to walk you through on how to install and set up the uh, ADS-B receiver project for uh, Dump 1090 and FlightAware, etc. So if anybody's interested in running Dump 1090 on a Raspberry Pi and, and stuff like that and having graphs and and feeding data to flight aware or flight radar or plane plotter or whatnot uh, I'll walk you through that so the first thing we need to do is do an, an update <coughs> which I have already done and uh, make sure uh, git is installed now you can run this on a light version if you like I have the full version right now just for the purpose of this video so Next thing we need to do is we need to clone the uh, project here. <laughs> then we'll just CD into it. Then all we need to do is run this command here. Then And this is a, a pretty straightforward setup. <clears throat> It'll go through and install what we need to, what needs to be installed. Now I'm just running this on a Raspberry Pi Zero W right now, so it's better to run uh, this software on like a Pi Three or Two at least, depending on how busy uh, the area is where you live at for uh, aircraft uh, I live in a somewhat decent busy area so I'm just going to run this for uh, the purpose of this video so then we'll just walk through now would you like to continue we'll say yes would you like to update your operating system now we'll just say yes So I'm going to let this run and I'll be back. Alright, now that that's done, we'll hit enter here. Now, when it comes up with this, you have a couple options here. So, what would you like to install? So, since the last time I've done this, I don't believe this one here was an option. So, I normally run the mobility, but... Uh, it's rather up to you you know the flight aware one's really good mobility is good so I mean you could just use your uh, up and down arrow key then just hit uh, the space bar to select which one you'd like so we're just gonna do the dump mobility then it'll ask if you want to do the dump seven I mean 978 which we're not going to do that so we'll just hit enter then it'll ask which one do you like to feed so you got a couple options here so we're just going to say flight aware pi aware then we're just going to hit the space bar I mean you could select multiple ones here if you like so we're just going to hit enter. Now the web porter, portal is the uh, the graphs and whatnot. Yeah, we'll want that. <clears throat> now here's another option you could do. You can install any of these if you like. If not, we could just uh, hit OK. Then we'll just hit yes. Then we'll say yes. And now it will install the dump 1090 first, and it'll get that done and over with. So, and I already have my uh, USB dongle and antenna hooked up here on the desk. So, you know, that's something that you could plug in from the get go. 
so it'll, the pie will recognize it and everything. So, <clears throat> but this is a, a pretty straightforward uh, installation. It's not too bad to do since uh, everything's basically done for you. So we're just going to pause this and let this go through. One other thing is uh, you'll have to set up an account with uh, FlightAware if you just go to FlightAware.com and uh, make a username and password and stuff. When you feed uh, the data to them, they offer you the enterprise uh, membership for free in return. So... Uh, I highly recommend feeding data to them because, you know, they got awesome support. They sell, uh, you know, antennas, USB dongles, and whatnot. They got a really good uh, uh, forum on their website for uh, this project. Well, for the uh, Dump 1090, PiAware, and everything. So, it's really good, really good uh, people, group of people, so. Alright, now that it's installed, we'll just hit OK. Now, here's where you got to put in your lat long, so I'm going to pause this. Alright, with that, now it comes up about the Bing Maps API key. Uh, if you do have one, you can put it in there if you like. If not, we'll just skip it. So, this here, we're going to say no. So, then we'll let that go. Then, however, you'd like to have it in. Now, hey, what's up? What's that? Uh, dot com. I'm not going to worry about this, but if you go to this website and you follow the instruction here, you can add this into it, but I am not going to worry about it. So, right now, we'll move on to installing uh, the PyAware so we can feed uh, <coughs> our data to flightaware.com. And like I said, you could install multiple multiple uh, feeders. You know, you just don't you don't have to just install one. You could do all of them, I guess, if you feel like. But uh, I used to feed two or three from the same pie with no issue. So, but now I just mainly just feed uh, flight aware. So, but uh, other than that. We'll just pause this and let it build this. All right, now it's done uh, installing. So you just follow this link to uh, claim your uh, your receiver. So we'll just hit OK there, and now it's going to install the uh, portal. Now, we're going to say no on this. So now it's going to install the, the graphs and everything for our uh, setup. So we'll just let this run. All right, so when you get to this, we're just going to select the uh, no configuration. If you want to do something different, that's fine. So we'll just let it keep installing here. All right, so now it's totally installed. So we just need to do a couple other little things here. So we need to go to this IP address, which yours would be different, but so we'll just hit OK on that. Then we'll just hit Enter again. Then what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, page here now it's going to come up with this we'll just say next we're just going to say next on that one 
And you can just pick your time zone here. So we'll just say that. Now here you'll be able to put in your required information. So I'll just uh, pause this. All right. Then when you hit next after that, we're going to run these two commands here so we can uninstall this stuff. Okay, so now we're done with that. So we can go over here. We can log in if you like. But uh, we're just going to go to here. Then if we click on systems, obviously nothing's being built yet because it just started. But we're going to reboot the pie to get everything going good so I'll be back alright so once you claim your receiver on the flight aware website uh, so you pull up your uh, your IP address of the pie here and give it some time you know It'll start uh, popping up your graphs and whatnot. So, like I said, I'm running this on a zero right now just for the purpose of this video, but uh, it's not the fastest thing. But uh, then, if you want your map, just click on maps, click on dump 1090 map. And you can scroll down and get the temperature of the pie and all that. So I'll throw a link in the description to this and uh, to my website and everything. So hopefully this video helped how to set this up. And if you need to go back and upgrade uh, let me get back in here. <clears throat> if you need to get back there and upgrade your stuff, what you can do is just get back into the receive and just install again. And then, uh, then uh, you can. Uh, Pick out what you like to update or add if you like. If you want to come back in and add, uh, say, uh, you know, another feeder, you can do so. So, or if you want to skip that, you could skip it. Okay, you want to add that. This here, you will need. Uh, Twitter uh, credentials so you'd have to sign up for uh, the uh, app account so you can get the uh, your keys and stuff for that last time I tried that it didn't work so hopefully maybe it worked it's working now I'm not totally sure because I haven't tried it but uh, other than that that's about it